This is a shoe. It is made of leather and a little bit smelly. I will eat a portion of this if I am wrong on the following two counts. I think I know the party and the race of one Evan Lowe. Evan Lowe is the California state representative who earlier this year, uh, I'm, I'm reading, introduced a bill that prohibits large retailers from having separate boys wear and girls wear sections. It is all meant to be mixed. And this is what he is demanding become law of California. So I am so certain that I'm willing to eat this. If I am wrong, you may call me on this. Evan Lowe's political party is certainly Democrat, and I'm going to put it at 99.5% that Evan Lowe is Caucasian. Only Democrats are this stupid as far as human nature and this unaware of natural shopping habits to try to make them better. Only Democrats. That's it. Now, this is still my party, and it's an embarrassing party. And it seems like only white liberals put on these foolish notions about gender, sex, sexuality, the need to integrate, okay? Blacks have more common sense, okay? <laughs> Prominent black people do not make these stupid proposals. So, let me say why it's not just stupid. It is evil to use government in this fashion. To say, not say, command that a store conduct business in ways that its management doesn't want to. And its customers probably don't want to. Why would girls' clothing be intermixed with boys. It makes it harder on everyone. It's making some dopey political statement, maybe. Why does the store want to be part of that? And by no means, where is it a command that any state legislature should be imposing that on its citizens? This is not good legislation. This is wayward thought that you could even propose this in what is supposedly a free country. Evan and your ilk should be turned out of office. This kind of proposal is ridiculous. By the way, why, if it's so good, if little girls are so much more, I, I don't know, uplifted by their clothes being intermixed with boys' clothes, why just put it in the big box retailers? Why not do this in your mom and pop store as well? If it's good for large store shoppers, Evan, shouldn't it be good for everyone? But no, they do this because large stores can get away with paying extra costs and dealing with inconvenience. It's an example of legislators extracting where they can. And unfortunately, large stores have been kind of compliant. We don't see big resistance to legislation like I think we should. And I hope that directors of Target and Walmart and big super uh, store grocery chains start to rebel against any state's legislation, actual or proposed. I know that right now there's a timidity that, oh, if it comes from a Democrat and we oppose it, half of our customers are Democrats and they're going to oppose us. Stop it. Because now you become a pawn of the states in which you occupy. Put up the resistance. I have a website called we-resist.us. We-resist.us is there for all stand-up politicians, would-be public servants who are running for office. Stand with us. If you want to look elsewhere, some other very good people running for office at epic-party.us. And again, the, the overall banner is weresist.us. I look forward to sensible legislation and even better, the removal 
of many dumb laws that have been passed by legislatures like California over the last decade. A good legislature will start undoing things as soon as they get seated in the beginning of the next decade. That's only six, seven months away now. I look forward to January 2021 if people get smart and turn out these dopes. Thank you for listening. I am Mark Stewart.